Hi guys, we are outside our finished project. Um, we're gonna show you around, let's go and have a look. It's a four bed, four bathroom, mini HMO, um, house of multiple occupancy. Pretty much finished now, so let's go and see. So this is the kitchen. There are a few little snagging bits that are still yet to be done, but here it is in all its glory. I really like this kind of emerald tiles. Now they're finished, I think they look awesome. And uh, a classic little fodder here. <laughs> Yeah, namaste. There is a kitchen, I think it's clean, it's tidy, it's quite airy and bright, and I think it's gonna make a really nice place for cooking. Yeah, nice. <laughs> there is the off suite there, should we just have a quick look at that? If we just go past Patrick's Flamingo here. So it's quite a nice little off suite, so it's a good size, there's a big shower tray there, sink and toilet. I think it's quite a nice little off suite. I think, you know, that person who uses this won't actually have an ensuite in their room and we'll show you that room but for me it wouldn't be a problem if this was my personal bathroom happy days um if you'd like to just join me for a toast <laughs> yeah i will actually I, I, I really like the way the house has been dressed mm -hmm. so just moving through now to the common area the common place the living room So this is, the, this is the living room space and I really like this sofa. Emerald green, it's kind of like this suede material which is really nice and I think it goes really well with this feature wall. At first I wasn't sure about this feature wall but um, I think it's really great. So Lea actually chose the colours and the design and then we've got um, a team we work with locally that help us put it all together and they do a really, really great job. Yeah, they like dress it and make dress it look it. really yeah. presentable. Yeah, fantastic. So, Thanks to those guys. We've got some really cool little features here, like um, some fake plants, which mean that we don't have to walk them and they don't die. Yeah. It's fantastic. Look at these cool little, like, elephants playing. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> Just gives it quite like a homely touch. I really like this kind of style on the lighting as well. This kind of like metal sort of rustic style. I think it's a really great place to hang out if you don't want to be stuck in your room, say, for example. Okay, these chairs don't look comfortable, but they actually are quite comfy when you sit on them. Um, Feels like you're in a little... I'm just getting some air out here because it's really hot. <laughs> it is quite hot. We've been testing out the heating, so that's why it's quite hot in here. Okay, room one. Okay, so this is room one. All the rooms have got like a little fridge freezer, which I think is just cute. I think it's quite nice to have your own sort of space. Every room has its kind of own style, which is really cool. So you'll see those in the next few rooms. But I quite like this. It's really homely. You've got the little elephant up there. <laughs> um, some pictures, a lamp. Um, a clock and little bits and pieces like that. You've also got an ensuite, every room apart from the end one at the back has got an ensuite. Great little space. Hopefully someone is going to enjoy it very soon. Well, two of the rooms have actually been filled already um, and two more are waiting to be filled, but that's before the house is even finished. So these rooms do actually go quite quickly, which is amazing for us. Upstairs. Room two. Like I said to you before, each room's kind of got its own style. I love this room, it's really cool. What I really like about this room are these pillows. Yeah, they're no cute. Video. It's a really nice touch. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> it's the speed for me. Yeah, I love it. I love the lights in here as well. They look really nice. Then we go into room numero tres.
I really like this room actually as well. <laughs> I like all of them. You're hilarious. So, yeah, this, here's the room here. You've got nice the dressing is really good especially for the professional photos that go on spare room yeah exactly slightly different design here but again this room has a desk in it this ensuite here is actually quite big because if you remember they actually took some out of the room too out of the wardrobe yeah so this one's actually quite big but again really really good space i don't know i just feel like if i was here i'd be chilling in this room it's pretty cool one thing that is hilarious is that a lot of people have commented going, God, those rooms are so small. But I think they're forgetting. Do you remember how big my room was in London? In oh Barons my gosh, Court? yeah. It was like, Tiny. I think it was literally just the bed, and then I had that little bit of space there and a little walk around it. Like, smaller than this. It was way smaller than this, and obviously I didn't have an ensuite either. But like, or a fridge freezer. <laughs> or my own little fridge freezer. I had a shelf in a fridge. I'm kind of I'm fed up of seeing comments going, God, those rooms are so small, because I'm just like, welcome to England. <laughs> this is England! Right, into room four. So this is the room that doesn't have the ensuite in. There is a lot of room. This one has a, a desk in it. And again, I love the little furnishings. I really think it's just it's a really great touch. Wardrobe. Fridge, freezer as well. Chest of drawers, another low maintenance plant as well. Fantastic, this will never die. This will live for eternity. <laughs> I think with this property and the last one, like all of the kind of like dressings like this, they just help spice up the photos. And also really it's just quite nice, isn't it? To have a bit of green in the room. That is interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you remember in that corner there when we first bought it all that mold and all that damp that was there yeah i do it's phenomenal to actually see how it's changed so much now but yeah i really like this room genuinely yeah it's good i i have no issues with not having an ensuite i've never had an ensuite until we started living together but yeah so this is this is a nice space oh that chair's a bit of me i've got a white one like that it's nice yeah they're good and here's a garden update right guys as you can see we are in the middle of getting all these slabs out and putting new slabs down so it's all going to be like nice and level all the way up this was all like higgledy piggledy all the way down and then all up there it's going to be like a just like stones and gravel and a little area over there where they can sit down and then we're also fixing the fence where it's broken that's not actually our fence it belongs to the neighbor we're fixing it there and then also down there so quite a bit of stuff here this is how the garden looks now all better okay guys that is it that is the tour that is our latest pro project <laughs> property pro project pro pro property project <laughs> yes some like really good learnings on this one and i feel like it was so much quicker since we had yeah. the other one to like make all the mistakes and then well not that there was loads of mistakes there was things that we just could have never have planned for and then this one was way speedier obviously when we were doing the last one we had COVID and there was a lot of delays and stuff like that. There was lockdown in the UK, mm. just made things a little bit more difficult. I think this one definitely felt smoother. Yeah. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the next one as well. And this one, like the rooms have filled quicker. The rooms are filled mm. before the pictures have gone online. But that's partly down to me um, because I just decided to start advertising the rooms before they were completely finished and using pictures of the old one. That's how we've done that. Yeah, but yeah little tip there. Little tip. <laughs> Yeah, and then, you know, now they've seen what they're actually going to get, I've shown them the updated pictures, which is nice. Um, but it just meant that there's no gap between it being finished and then being tenanted. That's it, guys. Yeah, well done. Well done, us. On to the next. On to the next. I mean, it literally was us plus our team. Like, we couldn't have done this without them. But right. um, we'd have been here till next year doing this. Yeah, so well done to those guys. Yeah, well done. And we will see you guys in the next video. If this is the first Property Couple video you've watched, don't forget to subscribe. We're also on Instagram, at Property Couple follow. UK. Give Go follow. follow. And that's it. We're probably at some point going to do TikTok. Yeah, we, we really need to do TikTok. We need to do TikTok. So yeah, we're trying to, if you guys are into that, if not, no worries. A little fun as well, where is it? I never know. I'm always like, the cards, the cards, I always point in the wrong direction. Cool. All right, guys, see you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.